Kevin with rats and we're about to help him out right now. So I get a call from Kevin saying, guys, I really, really need your help. I bought my home three or four years ago. I've had to deal with these rodents ever since. I'm catching rats outside. We've hired two other rodent companies. They've done all of the exclusion works. They can't seem to figure it out. So we're about to help him out and uh, let's go meet Kevin. He's gonna take us a walk through and figure out what we can do to get started. Hey, Jim. Kevin, how are you? Glad you guys could make it out today. Thank you, yeah, thanks for having us. So show us where the activity. So you've been dealing with this for how long? Since we bought the house about uh, three and a half, four years ago. When was the last time you heard activity? I mean, I, tra I, I caught two in the traps a couple days ago. Okay. Uh, under the house here. And you've had other pest control companies out, right? They did all the exclusion works? Yeah, so they, they all, I'll show you here in the garage is where the attic and all the other access is. Okay. They went down and they did all the wire mesh things. You can see some of the stuff up here, over here, just every little bit, okay. as well as up in the attic up here. Okay. So cool. we had a plumbing leak. Water was coming out under here. So I uh, had a plumber out. He cut open a hole in the drywall to see what was going with the plumbing. When he took the drywall out, rat poop was all over the place. He put two traps in here. They both, they both caught. In a couple of days. Okay, okay. So they, they have access from the crawl space into this slab area. Yeah, no, the, the only place the guy, the other guy couldn't get was in here. Was in here, okay. Yeah, so he says he's proofed okay. the rest of the house, but obviously you'll take a look, you'll figure out. And uh, so inside the house, where are you? Yeah, which... you can give you some orientation. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, would be yeah. great. And most of this right up to about here is like kind of on the original crawl space. Yep. Slab addition here. Wow. So this is slab here. There was a lot of activity here. We're here, I'm chewing down by the heater. They, they went in there mesh underneath this. Okay. I still have heard some chewing down there within the last month or so. Okay. They did the exclusion about a year ago. Yeah, there was, so, so here's that wall in the garage, the shower, the right. toilet. Yes, yeah, so that, that plumbing that we're looking at was like right underneath that. Right underneath that toilet, yep. Yeah. Okay. And so when was the last time you heard activity in this area of this room? If I didn't have the traps up and wasn't seeing the poop, I probably wouldn't know they were here. Got it. Okay. All right, Kevin. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. And we'll keep you posted. Thanks for the orientation. Yeah. So here's a little clue, guys. We've got ABS here and we have old vents here. So a lot of times it'll happen when I see this complete setup here, that right there is where I want to concentrate on because a lot of times on a remodel, it doesn't make sense to leave these old vents out. So a lot of times the remodelers, as you saw in our other videos, they cut, leave open, delete them, still connected to the existing sewer main, and then adding their new vent. So we're gonna explore these three vents right here. It's bright, I'm putting on my shades. Ah, oh, so much better. All right, we're gonna have a little challenge. We're gonna figure out how long it's going to take for us to figure this out, and the clock starts right now. Tick, 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 hurry up. Let's remove that. This is delaying us. This is delaying us. All right. Look at that. Wide open. That's our first breach. All right, so what we're going to do is go ahead and tape it off for now so we can continue the investigation. All right, we're going to turn the smoke back on and then figure out from there if we're getting any other smoke coming out of the, maybe this wall cavity, the ceiling cavity, or in this crawl space. So I block this. We're getting a lot more smoke up above. So guys, technically, I found it in less than 20 minutes. Here's why. So if they're sewer rats, they were coming in through here, coming up that pipe, up that two inch, coming up this wall, and then down here, into this open pipe and dumping right back into the crawl space. We're getting more smoke though in the crawl space, so I'm about to go under, check that out, see if we can find another entry point. Oh. Looks like he's got a cracked pipe. See that? It's coming out of that crack. All right, guys, so one pointer that the pest control companies should have done, isolate the areas. So you wanna exclude as many areas as possible. In this case, let me show you right here what I would have done if I was on the job a year ago. So we're in the main crawl space of the existing house, right? 
So right here, all of this is wide open to the new addition as well as this. So what I would have done is closed off these areas right here and monitored both areas to see where the rats are coming in. Main crawl space or are they coming in from that area? That's kind of like a quick little pointer that I wanted to teach you guys. If any pest control companies watching this, highly recommend doing that. I think what's happening right there is that main point of entry right there. What needs to happen now is that wall needs to be opened up, cap those pipes off right there, and then reintroduce the smoke. So we've got a lot of smoke coming out of here, yeah. as you can see. Yeah, that's right up from the, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this so, was just kind of set into this and there's nothing on the bottom when he uh, cut it off. And that was a plumber that did a it? A plumber and he took this off right here and then he ended up replacing the wax ring on the toilet. And he left this open like that? Yeah. Yeah. And have you caught more rats in this area versus over there? This has only it... been open a, a week and a half. Oh. And I've caught two or three. Got it. Okay, we're headed down to do the exclusion work on those two entry points of the foundation. Okay. So the other rodent company gave Kevin a five year warranty, five years, and that covered any type of live rats, trapping, cleaning. So they had to come here quite a bit. They had no idea where the rats were coming in. They were lost. So that's a long time and a lot of visits if you don't know where the entry points are. So we're gonna help them with their five year warranty for sure. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, leave this pipe open. Kevin agrees, just so you know. We're gonna leave a monitoring camera and verify and make sure that they're dumping out from that pipe and make sure that they are sewer rats. So we're gonna set that up after we get the exclusion work done. So guys, that is a record. We found it in 22 minutes. Can you believe that that plumber would leave that two inch pipe wide open inside that wall cavity. I mean, he was already here. You cut a pipe, you cap it. What if there wasn't even rats, you guys? It's sewer gases. It just doesn't make any sense. You can see the tracks of the rats. So we're definitely going to cover these holes and separate the main crawl space and the addition. So we're getting ready to exclude all this. Okay guys, we're gonna now use our black foam we got that all secured right here. So guys, look at the other pest control company was here. Did all of this work here. And they should have done this as well. This should have been part of their exclusion work. Again, you always want to separate the buildings. We are fully excluded. So now we're going to set up the monitoring. And now we know for sure rats aren't going to get through the other side of the house. Keep them contained. All right, guys, you can see here Kevin has a wood working shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disguise the rat trap. Check this out. All right, so now that everything's excluded in the main crawl space, that allows us now to set up traps so we know for sure they're not going to go into the main part of that crawl space. So we're going to do a little trapping hack here because these Norway rats, these sewer rats, are really, really smart. They're neophobic. Check this video out right here. As you can see right here, we place glue traps on the runways and look at how this rat senses both the snap trap and the glue trap. Check out this big rat inside this attic, guys. This rat was delicately eating off of this rat trap, taking a while. Look at how long it took for this wooden Victor rat trap to snap it. Amazing. All right, so we have the sawdust here. What we're gonna do is basically gonna disguise the trap. Sprinkle a little bit over the kill bar here, like this. So here's the idea. The idea is to really disguise it. They use this too for nesting a lot of times. So they'll go for the bait, they'll get in here, go for the bait, ruffle up the sawdust, and then this, this is what it should look like. They'll come in, bam. Hopefully it'll work. Let's give it a try. Okay, we're gonna add our straps here to the traps. Okay guys, so we've got the camera, we've got the rat trap completely disguised there. So they're gonna hopefully drop out of here, come across this way, or stay close to this 
we got a different bait here, so we've got that. And we've got these completely secured. So the last thing you want is a rat trap to get deployed. I mean, the rat gets caught with the trap and walks away with it. So here we've got it secured. Let's see what we get. Well, that was a quick find, but the journey will continue. Let's see how many rats come out of that sewer pipe. And let's see if that disguising sawdust rat trap hack really works. Okay guys, we left Kevin's about two hours later. Check this footage out. Look at that big tail. Comes over here, heads over towards that pipe, up into that wall cavity. So I've got to go back now and open up that section. That's the great thing about these cameras is it gives us the uh, whole picture of kind of where they're coming in and out. Yeah, we think they're following that pipe up. Yep, yeah, something's going on right about right here, I would say. Here. All right, so we know on that camera, guys, that the rat was coming across that one line coming up into this corner right here. So this is why we're opening this up. Oh yeah. See the rat grease inside the, the line? That's where they're coming in and out right there. So that's where they're coming in and out. That's the pipe. So in the camera, okay. they're coming up right here and dumping into here. We're gonna temporarily just put some wire mesh inside this two and a half inch P-trap. That way we can monitor the activity now going through the original hole that we found, which is that one right there. Well guys, it's been about three weeks. Kevin is super happy that the rat activity is no longer active. It's amazing how those rats were taking advantage of that wide open space through that pipe inside that wall. Super happy we were able to solve it. I love that little challenge. It's pretty quick finding. Leave the comments if you like those challenges. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.